you can see, I got rid of the door panels. I'm starting to take up the uh, take off the carpet. And what you can see here is that there's actually uh, two carpets on here. It looks like a, a homemade carpet has actually been added on top of the real OEM carpet. Now I haven't ripped this up yet, but I'm a little bit nervous about what I'm going to find underneath. So, um, so yeah. So let's continue on with the interior uh, demolition and, uh, and try working on getting to see what's underneath this carpet, because that is a really big part of what is going to make this swap, um, or this restoration easy or hard, because there's a lot of work if there's some rust under there. What I found was that the reason that they put that second carpet over the first one is because they actually put a roll cage in. You can see that they cut out the carpet in order to put the roll cage. Looking underneath though, I don't think that there's any real significant rust. There's a little bit there under the seat though. That's all surface rust. As you can see that they did um, cut the carpet there and of course by the driver's foot as well. But I can't take this carpet out yet. And the reason being is because I need to remove the HVAC unit. And really in order to do that, I need to take the dash out. So I am planning on taking the dash out very shortly. And at this point, I can't do a full analysis on the, on the floor until I take the dash out. So let's start working on taking the dash out. Now, before we can actually just remove the dash, we need to remove everything else underneath the dash, behind the dash, things like that. So first, what we wanna make sure that we do is we label all of our hardware in bags. And when we do that, we know exactly what hardware goes to which bag. After you start disassembling a car, you can very quickly lose track of your hardware. So be careful to maintain all that in plastic baggies that are labeled clearly with a marker. In this case, you can see that I have cluster hardware installed. As you see, I can started removing the cluster and I have hardware that's basically sitting on the dash. I will lose that if I don't label it. Also, dash install hardware. What's the hardware that's actually removing the dash itself? And of course, the glove compartment hardware. This look like cl little clips and things like that for the glove compartment um, and it's shrouding for the DME as well. So that also needs to be taken advantage of. So while you're in there, very important also that anything in the HVAC panel is also gonna get removed as well prior to the dash having been removed. So we need to do that. So let's start off with getting that done first. Um, and then we'll start working on the glove compartment and then we'll do the dash. I don't know what's going on with this radio, but it's not coming out of this slot. I have a feeling it was somewhat glued in there because it's really not coming out. And I'm not forcing it because I don't want to break the HVAC cluster. So the whole thing is just going to have to come out as a separate entity. And it's got like this tape wedged in there, so I don't know what that's for. But it definitely needs to come out the right way. And I'll rather do it on a bench than do it while it's sitting on the car. So got a couple more harnesses here to take out, and I think I'll be in good shape. So I'm not sure if I've gotten everything in order to remove the dash, but I certainly labeled everything. You can see all the hardware has now been put into bags while everything was still fresh in my mind. You can see the M3 cluster, which is gonna obviously get refurbed to remove that carbon fiber and the rings and all that stuff to get it back to OEM standard. But everything is basically on the hood and labeled. And I, I don't care if it's on the hood. We're gonna be, redo we're gonna be redoing everything. So that includes paint. In this case, we've, I think we've gotten the, the dash completely disassembled. You can see, it's moving pretty easily. There's only one thing that I'm a little concerned about and that is on the vent on the driver's side. And yes, I've, and that's because I've, I've actually freed up the entire harness here. So I think that the harness is freed from the underside of the dash. So I have to install new clips and all that to get it all reinstalled. But this actually goes above the, uh, the, the cowling for the air induction on this vent here. So if I remove it, 